come to the path of love take the support of my arms and sing the song that the whole world is singing the song of love the song of peace the song of joy welcome to my channel all the beautiful and amazing people out there and this is the third part of the channeling that we were doing about how the masculine is sort of convincing the feminine to just be with him you know after he realizes that she's the one so what happens usually in the twin flame journey is that time is seen very differently okay in other things that we do in career or in our life you know for us 2 years 3 years matters a lot for some people even 3 months to 4 months matter matter a lot you know in especially in karmic setup when they say that he or she wasted my 3 months i could have been with someone else during that time or done something bigger or i gave up a certain option because of him or her you know it was a big loss to me so the time factor in the twin flame journey needs to be understood very well so that whosoever the chasers are be it a male or be it a female the chaser should not fall into the trap of waiting energies waiting energies looks very uh, nice from outside sometimes it's like a comfort zone many people speak about waiting energies in different forums like they tell you wait wait for a person wait for a person patiently god will bring that person back to you keep sending them love and this and that however they forget the most basic thing that you cannot just wait for someone or something to happen because waiting means everything is in a standstill waiting is not the idea letting go and letting god do it is the idea but in the meantime you do whatever you think is the right thing for you or the best option for you without thinking what you look like uh what your image will be like you know things like that so here the feminine and masculine they are basically in the mid path actually they are literally half one person has crossed over and half the other person has crossed over what is the statements that he is saying to her he is saying that maybe in your eyes i could be a bad person now uh, too much time has gone by i took a long time to get back to you and i was very arrogant i was very uh, egotistical i was also thinking that i am 100% right and you are 100% wrong but over a period of time my experiences have been in such a way in such a direction i have gone through in life that now i don't think that way anymore i don't think that i am 100% right or you are 100% wrong but i am trying to work my way through to it that's what he says i'm trying to work my way through it but i want you to give me an opportunity i want you to let the inhibitions go and just you know get on with me again he makes certain offers he gives her certain you know like baits like we can do this we can do that we can go out we can chill blah 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 <clears throat> now that she has 50% recovered so much from whatever happened because it's not easy to be completely down and i'm not saying that the feminine should blame other people for it that this person if you're still in the blaming energies then you may not uh, be in this zone right now it is always always it happens people always come back if old exes can come back you know 10 year old 12 year old 15 year old people if they can come back in your life just imagine if they can contact you if they can end up their marriages and they can come back to you if not marriages then whatever karmic reason you know happened between you both that had blocked you some of the cases when those people come back it's also a good thing because the the other person can test themselves like do i like this person do i want this person again how would my life be if i'm back with this person this ex of mine you know and needless to say guys and girls you all know twin flamers have attracted a lot of people they usually attract a lot of people if someone tells me that i've never been 
in any other relationship other than this twin flame relationship then either that person has to be really young like they have to be biologically extremely young and still to be experiencing such an intense relationship you know such a such a intensity they have to be really young and they are even looking for healing because usually such people will not know what healing is you know and they might even go to a wrong healer who would probably make them obsess more you know but still they are the twin flames they have this type of energy they are attractive to other people especially when they are in the limbo state and they are you know living a 3d life and they don't know what anything they just know that i got to make money they are street smart there are so many amazing qualities that i can tell you about the twin flames like you will be like i don't want people to get into a superiority complex zone that's why i sometimes don't share it they are street smart they know how to make money they know how to make friends they know all of that they can impress other people just by being who they are but at that point in time they are in a limbo state so in a limbo state it's all about you know working on your image working on the ego aspects okay yes there are some people who start very late also because they are busy working they are busy taking care of the family they are in deep narcissistic energies wherein they have been taught that they are supposed to be taking care of everyone else everyone else it's their duty running the house managing the expenses and this and that if they were uh, if they were pampered ones twin flame pampered twin flame usually they are the enabled narcissist usually so they become the runner and the other person plays the role of the chaser but then this role reversal also happens in a very unique way because maybe the runner is running away from the chaser but they could be running after someone they could be chasing the karmic they could be chasing somebody you know if not this person and they are supposed to chase that other person in order to figure out what chasing feels like what disrespect feels like what uh, someone you know who uses you and karmic relationships they may be physically looking very intimate you know looking very intimate from the outside even because there's a commitment say they to get engaged but inside they don't have any intimacy they don't have any real communication they don't have that love you know but with the karmic in any karmic relationship so how the twin flame also gets into ascension zone is because they also get sick and tired of the karmic relationships the karmic relationships are so depressing toxic so difficult to deal with if you go back in time and you think about your uh, toxic karmic relationship you know where you were very much in love and where you were very much you know loyal and this and that and it was very hard to keep it going you know there was something or the other always happening just think how you were at that time you obviously did not know you don't want to believe that it's a toxic relationship you want the relationship to work and you're head over heels in love you're blinded by that person you don't want to see there is anything wrong in that person you know we have all gone through those relationship patterns where we know that the other person is lying to you cheating to you not treating you with respect there's a lot of things that's going on with that person which are not correct but you're still with them because they need something from you and you are getting something from them a highly codependent relationship on all materialistic levels you know bodily levels so these type of relationships also can happen during limbo state which can snap a person out because they have already an ego you know they are street smart they can make money they are good looking they are attractive they know all these things and still somebody is treating them so wrongly you know what do they want what the hell do they want i'm giving them everything so then they realize that it's not true love now this that you have already played that the twin flame has already played has already gone through in the past life scenario past life as in this particular life this itself looks like such a huge life you know it could have multiple past life connection in between so when the twin flame goes through those situations they have already learned their lesson after learning their lesson finally they are looking for the right person for a spiritual connection but think about the other person they have not you know and i am not telling you to wait for anyone please don't waste your time in waiting for anyone okay 
Waiting sounds good if you are in a marriage situation. So, there are lot of twin flames. They get married and then also they get into separation. So, this is not to uh, demotivate anyone. This is not to make anybody feel bad. Like, you know what, after all this hard work, I get married to a person, to my twin flame and then again they leave me. What the hell is this? This is the reason why we do therapy. This is the reason why... You know, I am promoting th therapy to people because it makes their work so easy. I sometimes feel, sometimes I feel maybe, you know, not everyone is also ready for therapy because therapy cannot be given to everyone. There are some people who are very much interested to get into therapy. But they have nothing blocking. They don't have financial is issues. They don't have uh, any other issue. They don't have time issue. They have everything. But still, they just you know they just enter the therapy and they just exit why because their time is not come they need to go through pain they need to go through so much pain that automatically they will figure out they will think that you know now i want to do something about this pain like how do i deal with this pain so it's not something you know it will happen on its own just someone convincing you will not make you get into therapy therapy is something in the Western world, therapy is very popular. But there also the problem is that they don't have the right type of therapist for twin flamers. Because the other therapists are like psychiatrists or they are more towards, you know, okay, this person has a disorder. I need to give them all these pills. So all these medicines are going to numb down their emotions or their awakening. They don't know the word awakening also. Because sometimes when you are awakening into awakening process lot of things can go wrong and difficult in your life and you might just think that something is happening to me i'm going crazy let me go to this doctor or that doctor and they will give me some medicines some people don't even read the therapy they go to physical you know the doctors who are physicians they go to how they do ct scans they do i know all kinds of health checkups and there's nothing as such which is wrong with them so they don't know what's happening to them. I was very lucky when I was in a extremely toxic and physically abusive relationship. I somehow found a spiritualist at that time. And uh, that spiritualist told me that, you know, remember, remember who you are. She kept saying, remember who you are. You can't be this. You can't be this. And she had some gifts also, some other gifts like she could, you know, now I think it's, when I look at the gifts that I have or I look at the gifts of other people, it makes sense. At that point in time, I was like, wow, she has this gift. Like she can read into this. She can do that. But she also had certain limitations. After a point, she told me that I cannot help you because I am supposed to help people who don't have anything, any gifts or any powers. I mean, powers not like I can fly in the sky, guys, like a Superman power. <clears throat> Whatever she meant to say that you are an empowered person. Basically, that's what meant, she meant. That you are an empowered person. You have gifts and you have done a lot of amazing things. You are very independent. I cannot help you because I don't have the tools to help you. I am sure she did not know about the twin flame journey and it's not her fault. Even she was confused. Like, what should I do with this person? Should I tell her this or should I tell her that? And then something mystical happened while she was into my session, after which she got a little scared also because obviously suddenly getting a vision in the middle of a session is not, not something that happens all the time. So the masters are always there. Masters don't let uh, other people or everyone interfere, you know, in what they're doing. So most of the people, they don't know about Twin Flame Journey and they... Whatever they know also, they cannot intuitively catch the energy because everybody is different. Everybody is different and everybody's intuitive reading is different. Everybody. You cannot give the same suggestion to the to different people. Like you also do this, you also do this. It is so complicated. It is so complex. But at the same time, it is, uh, you know, when you can read through energies, it seems like okay this is a simple statement to say but the moment you say that simple statement to that person they go through an epiphany my goodness and i've seen it in front of my own eyes they go through this epiphany and they say my god i've been hearing this statement or this word or i've been reading this somewhere and you know like sometimes it happens that some of the people who come to me they already know tarot cards they know 
the reading they they can read for other people on and themselves also but they find it difficult to read for themselves so they are not getting clarity so they keep pulling out the same card you know every time they do the reading but they don't know what to do with it and then when they come to me i also pull out the same card and then i explain it to them that this is the reason why you have been pulling out the same card and the person is shocked like how the hell you pulled out the same card but they are not able to see the meaning because they cannot intuitively read it fully the, their own self their own energy you know some people teach mirror work also like go and stand in front of the mirror keep staring into your own eyes you know and do this and do that they say that right why they say that because they want people to figure out how to learn their own energy so a lot of healers readers have also come to me for a reading for a session and sometimes it's literally like a um confirmation a confirmation of what they are going through now if you are not a reader or if you're not someone like that but still you will have intuition gifts still every single genuine twin flame always has certain intuitive abilities and gifts just that they don't know how to channel it properly after therapy some people learn to channel their energies and for some people lot of therapy sessions are needed and it is not something bad it is maybe for them that's the way they will do inner work for them specifically for some people they need few therapy sessions and some people need more but that's how their journey is designed you know that they will come in between take a break meet a person do the work and then the person will say now you're on your own or they will think like maybe i can do it on my own maybe one year two year they can go on maybe later on so there is no feeling of this you should not be ashamed of yourself because as i keep saying to everyone that ascension is a lifestyle why i say that obviously i must be applying that myself also right and it must be giving some uh, good results masculine coming back is not a big deal trust me if you do the right inner work if you do the right therapy if you do the right devotion most important is devotion if you devote yourself to universal energies to source if you follow simple things like you do a uh, naam jap okay please study google about it what is naam jap you work on your solar plexus one of the most important thing in the twin flame ascension journey is to work on your solar plexus if your sacral chakra is the point of power then maybe universe has some other ways of doing things like some people they become aware after giving birth to a child once they have a child and they are supposed to have a child you can't help it usually twin flames are not supposed to have their own biological children but if they do then it is their mission to raise the children to give them all the best the bestest possible education bestest possible education on planet earth because what they are supposed to do is they are supposed to carry forward your mission work for that that person has to have you know that understanding for mission work real understanding of twin flame journey correct if you don't have how will you give it to your biological offsprings or if you adopt some children then how will you give it to them twin flames aren't not supposed to be selfish they are not here to be selfish they are supposed to be 100% givers all the time and nobody can give 100% until and unless they have someone giving them 100% love all the time you can't give to other people if you are empty handed how can a person with empty pockets help another person you need to be you know in that place and that position you can support anyone you can help anyone you can give money whatever is needed money time help if they are in the right due time and the divine timing is perfect for them there are some people who are very arrogant i'm not kidding about it they come for readings and they are very demanding like do it like this do it like that i just look at them and i feel oh my god they are so much away from the divine timing and they are so uh they are trying to take control of the divine timing they are getting all agitated and they are throwing their power and attitude and this and that so that they can you know rule it they can control the twin flame union or whatever 
दे फॉल रियली हार्डली दे फॉल हार्ड लाइक नॉट हार्डली दे फॉल हार्ड ऑन देअर फेस फ्लैट ऑन देअर फेस यूजली एंड देन दे रियलाइज देन दे गेट अ सोल शॉक लाइक ओके वो दिस इज हैपनिंग टू मी यू नो बिफोर दैट दे आर नॉट लिसनिंग टू एनी वन समटाइम्स इवन इन द रीडिंग वी ट्राई टू टेल दैम दैट यू नो जस्ट बी नाइसर यू नो बी मोर पेशेंट वॉट एल्स कैन यू से बी मोर पेशेंट बी मोर रिस्पेक्टफुल डोंट टेल मी आई हैव बीन इन टेन ईयर्स फॉर इन टेन ईयर्स आई एम डूइंग इन अर वर्क वन लेडी टोल मी टेन ईयर्स आई एम डूइंग इन अर वर्क आई एम सपोज टू बी इन यूनियन राइट नाउ आई एम सपोज टू बी इन यूनियन हाउ कैन यू टेल मी आई एम नॉट गेटिंग इन टू यूनियन राइट नाउ हाउ कैन यू I said, okay, I am not just a tarot card reader. I am also an intuitive reader. Okay, so I can say these things. So no, and if you look at her situation, it was impossible for her to get into union for next ten years with that attitude, with that anger, with that madness, and with that level of betrayal that she was giving to her own partner and to other people around just to get the twin flame. And the twin flame was least interested in that person, least. interested least interested so how do you want to turn it around you are going to throw your anger and attitude to a reader to a therapist to someone you're going to cry like a baby like roll on the floor i want this candy i want this candy no i want this candy that's not how it's going to work maybe you can say sometimes the masculines get into that zone also when they are 50% there and they cannot get the feminine's attention back i see a lot of people who are really desperately waiting for the contact or for the communication or for something to happen <clears throat> when i read their comments i feel they are desperately waiting that's why it's not happening you know you need to stop waiting desperately those who are in harmonization those who are in contact and those who are really like smart with how to go about it you know they understand the twin flame journey they they can even jump from one person to another one karmic to another very easily they can do it you know without i mean it's very complicated i cannot explain it to you unless you go through that situation okay but they are experiencing all the union energies they are like enjoying their life they are living it every day they understand how to inflame experience works but for that as i said lot of inner work needs to be done okay so the masculine is saying to the feminine that i am not a bad person i am not a bad guy from my heart i am a good guy you know but you are you are not seeing me in my real self i am going to bring out my intellectual self to you i am going to bring out my real self to you i am going to be a better man for you be a better person for you never believe a person who says that you know because if they say that then they just need you for something that's why they are so desperately trying to convince you but what could the masculine need right now at 50% where he is reached what could he need basically he is in codependent energies and he wants you know somehow you know when he looks at the feminine he looks at her in a different way now earlier when he was ignoring her and she did not mean anything to him maybe 2 years had passed why he did not think about her at all but when he got to know that she has really come a long way and she has really changed and she is like somewhere you know in life and all this while that i thought that she would be crying for me she would be you know begging for me she would be living a disgusting life you know she would look this way or that way she would look very old and she would look very dilapidated or he started finding her unattractive any which way he thought that nothing good can happen to this woman you know he really discarded her at that point in time but when he turned around and he looked around for her because of the energies a shift in the energies makes him do that he sees a very accomplished very independent really amazing woman in front of him and that gives him a that gives him a soul shock too a big soul shock because he thought that this is just you know trash i am just throwing some trash from my life and when he sees that whatever he called trash is becoming like a priceless commodity like he needs to get an appointment to get to her 
that's when he shifts and that's when he starts getting desperate and he starts doing all the sweet talks and all the you know so the feminine has to be really smart at this time you know she can't be like uh, looking at one nice message and one nice compliment and this and that now again there are there are people who are in mission also for them also the same thing applies if they feel that their divine counterpart or their so called divine counterpart or their partner potential partner is not in matching energies with the mission they don't have to do everything to please this is the game this is the work that you're supposed to do you're not supposed to be scared that you're going to die alone that nobody is going to love you nobody is going to marry you nobody is going to date uh, you nobody is going to go out with you blah 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 whatever it is that fear has to go out of the window completely but who is keeping it inside you the person who keeps it anyway so this is pretty much the energy of this channeling he is constantly like telling her you know don't go anywhere because he feels that she is going somewhere he doesn't know where in some cases it's not even like she has a boyfriend or anything but still she is so attractive like he wants to know what's going on in her mind you know what if someone else comes and takes over so this is where i'm going to close this session for your personal situation you can check out the description box you can also check out the link to my book in the name of love which is based on the journey of finding your ultimate soulmate kindly do not share your twin flame journey in advance with me because we need to use our intuitive reading abilities and tarot cards and the help of masters to come to a proper solution one love and peace out and i'll see you soon in another one